This squad, with the power they have on their day, they can do anything they want. Um, so we come after that point, and I think we're starting to see the end of the season now, aren't we? Mm -hmm. know, five or six weeks to go, and, and it's looking good. But we've got a big run of midweek games. We have three midweek games in four weeks. Oh, yeah. Was that, were you look, looking ahead to that, thinking, wow, that's going to be tough? What was it exciting? I mean, talking to Lois, I can remember her saying, we just want to play games. We'd rather play football mm -hmm. than be training, for example. I know you hear that from a lot of players. We just want to play football. Is training different from playing? Is it? Do, do you feel more of a buzz knowing you've got game after game after game or, or what? Training is very different to playing. I really enjoy training because I think it helps me understand where I am in terms of like my fitness, in terms of, um, in terms of just on the ball am I am I a bit rusty for whatever reason like how am I getting on um I really I really enjoy midweek games I think that's something that I've really enjoyed coming into tier four however my kind of worry with it was because obviously we knew that Donny and Peter had had that extra week I was very much of the opinion of well if this causes more injuries if this causes more fatigue if this causes for any reason maybe the pitches are getting a little bit more tore up any reason if this causes us to slip up and not get a fixture a result that we deserve i was very much like this isn't fair kind of toys out the pram like i don't understand the thought process um i was really looking forward to it but i was really apprehensive because of that yeah. um and i think most people probably within the club without putting words in people's mouths would probably agree with that i think we probably made that point at the time but Dusting, yeah, it? it was one of them that was like, there's nothing we can do about it. The only thing we could do is not let that be an issue, not let that happen, which I know is easier said than done because it's lots of minutes of football. Um, but I do think, even though I thought that's sitting there before all the midweek games, as every midweek game came up, they, it was exciting because midweek games are exciting. Um, and the prep that we did around them, we did footage and a light session on a Tuesday. And then I think depending on the game, really, I think some weeks we trained and I think it depended on whichever games we had on the Sunday. I think some weeks we trained, but again, light session Thursday um, or prep for the Sunday. Um, but the way we did it, it felt like we were seeing each other all the time because obviously it was we, we see each other a lot anyway. But it was Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday. And that's assuming there was no no one was doing anything social in the run up to that. Um, but no, it was exciting. I also think as well. If we had that run at the start of the season, it might have got a little bit tedious. Mm. But because we had that <clears> run at the end of the season, it was like, you know what, actually, let's just get it done. Get it done, like be in the build up for it, win the trophy, and then we're done. Like, let's just smash out all these fixtures and then we're done. And to be honest, when obviously we'd won the league by this point, so maybe it'd been different if we hadn't won the league. But when I saw that Donny and Peter were playing on that Sunday, the week after we'd finished, I was like, oh, I'm so glad we're not playing today. <laughs> yeah. so. so in amongst all those midweek games and whatever else, we had the plate final as well, which was a bit of an occasion. How did that feel? That was really fun. Um, again, we'd watched footage on them and we knew, it, similar to Hull, we knew they were a very good side. Obviously, they played, Hull and Leeds obviously in the same league, so they played each other. And it was always quite a tight, um, fixture. It's really annoying because I think they were due to play each other the week before Leeds and Hall were and it had been postponed, which was a shame because I remember looking at that and thinking that would have been a good indication of where we were and where they were. Um, but they were, were they top of the league at that point or they were second no, in the league? the third or fourth I think. They, they were, oh yeah, middle, no, they were middle, weren't two. they? Yeah. Um, but I remember watching footage of them and I was thinking this, these look very good. Like they look better than what I thought Hall looked like. Um, their forwards were just ridiculous, but the build up to it was a lot of excitement. I think we knew that it was going to be a really tough game, but we can't. It was it's a final. You have nothing to lose in a final. Just go out mm -hmm. and give it all you can. Obviously, it was a good um, on a good pitch. Good. I can't remember what it's called. Armco. Yeah, Armco Arena. Yeah. Um, and it was like really professional. I can't remember when I spoke to the national league thing. They said what was it like, and I said it was really just professional. You walked into the changing room, all the shirts were up, you had the programme, you had your Lucasade Sport, you had 
like everything and then you had your little lanyards like it was just yeah, yeah. really exciting to be able to have that and obviously getting the coach together and being told that there's only 16 passes so kind of made you a bit more appreciative of where we were at um national anthems national anthems um i can't remember her name who did i talk to sue smith. Really smith talked to sue smith and like all that stuff beforehand was just really exciting and then the actual game oh my life's over a good side um <laughs> again, did you feel like we perhaps didn't do ourselves justice I I really struggled with this because I think we could have done better 100%. I think the result could have been closer. Do I think they deserve to win? Yeah, to be honest. I do think they were potentially just a better side. Um, I think they were a side that looked like they played together for longer, that they looked like they knew where each other were moving and their rotations were really quick. But we had we were playing a different formation um, that we hadn't played loads. Don't get me wrong, when we had played it before, we had been successful with it. So I'm not saying that that was the reason that we didn't win, but it looked like they were playing a formation that they'd been playing for quite a long time, whereas we were still just kind of coming to terms with it. But I still think in terms of our ability, um, I don't think we gave ourselves the best showcase. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think it gave a great show for the National League, though. I think um, that final with what both teams did it was a great advert to say that was a plate and not the cup as well. You know, I think um, you know, Carroll West and the whole of the National League would be really proud of that event that we put on. It wasn't just a 90 minute game, it was a fantastic spectacle even after the game uh, where you got awarded the trophies and before the game they had like loads of media people around come to speak to the fans and you know, um, all this stuff that was going on behind the scenes um, in like the VIP areas, the trophies that was there, the, w, the um, women's Euros trophy that was there, the Premier League trophy. I think from a fan's point of view, it was more than just a 90 minute game. That was like a pop top of occasion. And obviously, if we felt that as fans, you got you know, you guys must have felt the occasion as well. Did it like put you off at all, or did, was, did, was it thriving on the occasion, or did you not even notice it at the time? I don't think so. I think that's what we've all been striving for for years. And in terms of women's football as well, it's what women's football's been striving for and um, to play in front of nearly a thousand people at that occasion was just great and I don't think anyone really knew what to do while the national anthems were playing but while they were playing it was still pretty cool to be stood there at a fixture with the national anthem um and yeah just with everyone around with the trophies with the cameras um having it streamed by leads on their social media like it's all things that mm. we've been striving for so we don't necessarily think anyone's shied away from it were we nervous yeah but we'd be nervous if we played on a park pitch in a cup final so I think a cup final is a cup final, we'll be nervous regardless, but I think if anything, having all those things around us maybe might have, for me, it felt like it settled me a little bit because it was like, look where we are, like, let's go and put on a show, look where we are, um, and I'm pretty sure that's what Lammy said in the in the huddle at the start of the match, like, let's just go and enjoy it, let's see what we do, not it is what it is, but we deserve this, the result's going to happen regardless, so let's just go and enjoy it and put on the best show that we can. Yeah. Um, and I think that was that kind of felt the same at the end. Obviously, they won, but and um, when they were having the trophy lift and stuff, their fans were great as well. But we're, like just walking past their fans at the end, and they were like clapping us, and we were obviously clapping everyone. Um, obviously, we were gutted because it was a loss, and you you want to win a league cup final. But in terms of like the whole picture, looking at where we'd gone, like come from, into where we were there, and the occasion that it was, and I think there was a lot more appreciation of that day rather than there was upset that we didn't win. Yeah, it felt like a good day all around. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Um, so then we sort of come on to the final stretch in the league, I guess, and the, the Moors game away on the, it was a Thursday night, wasn't it, at their place? Mm. Yeah. was um, one where, you know, we talked about the, the Calcer game and the Lincoln game where we dropped, well, certainly the Lincoln game, we dropped a point very late on. Moors, the boot was on the other foot with that penalty right at the end. That was... Um, a long night, if you like, because we didn't play too well that night. Did, no. it, did it feel like there was a bit of pressure coming on us by that stage to sort of to get over the line? I think so. Even though like we had, I think, probably more games than we realised, we knew that we had very similar last games that Donny had. Mm. Um, so we knew that at some point we just had to just nip them by that little bit. So I think it was starting to get to the point of the season, you know, like the Cups are kind of coming into play. We're starting to realise that we've got another Cup final coming up. It was getting to a point of, 
I, like, I just feel like we were all getting to a bit of a tired point. Um, and we were so close that we just wanted, we just wanted it done, not in terms of like, oh, we just wanted it done, like, we're bored, but we just wanted it done in terms of we're so close. Um, that was a really tough game. Um, there's a lot of the girls that get along with a lot of the Moors girls as well. So it was, I, to be honest, I really enjoyed it. Even though it was a really tough game, I did. It was one of those games that it's just back and forth. Um, I could imagine it was probably quite fun to watch for for a neutral but you know it was it was a tough game yeah um and just one that when it was done it was like okay free <laughs> again yeah, it, was, it was it was a point game wasn't it certainly yeah. you know with, with hindsight um was you counted points at that time Les? was you was you like looking at the league title and thinking well we just need one more point now we just need three more points now or was it, was it again not, not at this stage really going through your mind because i know the fan base and i'm sure there were conversations between the players thinking, oh, you know, we've got a good chance of actually seeing our hands out. Did, at what point did you actually start thinking to yourself, right, if we win this, we're actually going to win the title here? Yeah, it was probably around maybe like a week before. So obviously not the cup final, the week before that. That was when I'd started to ask about the numbers. Yeah. So I was like, so how many do we need to win? How many do we need to draw? What's the goal difference? That was when I'd gone from zero to a hundred really quick. I'd yeah. gone from like, oh, we're just going to finish mid table to like, how, how far off are we? I remember when it was getting to a point where we were talking goal difference and stuff, I was checking the results like weekly to see where we were at. And it was around there that I'd started to get, I think, I don't know, I think people are a lot better at hiding their nerves than me, but I'd started to get really nervous in terms of like, no, no, we can do this. Like this is actually ours to win. It's like it's ours to lose. Mm. So that's when I'd started to get really like on top of point counting yeah. and goal difference and keeping my eye on other teams and stuff, definitely. Yeah, because yeah. after Moors, we had uh, Sheffield down here and then Northampton the following Sunday. And I kind of grouped those two games together because either of them, as it turned out, were probably going to be the game yeah. where we won the league. Mm. And I think we were a minute or so away from winning it against Sheffield, weren't we? Because Doncaster got a very oh, nice yeah. equaliser at Calcio. And effectively, probably at that point, we had won the league because they were 12 points behind and 40 odd goal difference. Yeah. Did that feel a little bit, um, you know, did you feel like you wanted to celebrate at that point and you just couldn't? Yeah, definitely. Because that I was a tough game. They'd equalised just before half time. It was hadn't Easter they? as well, wasn't it? Yeah, I think. Easter Sunday, yeah. And obviously, we have quite a few teachers at, uh, like that work at school, so we were like, it's, yeah, and then no, <laughs> we couldn't. And then again, the week after was kind of similar as well, where it was a little bit, I mean, like, it was essentially won, but mm. it also wasn't, but it also was. So it was like, I think because of that, it kind of felt like we'd not dragged it out but obviously usually it's like a dramatic last day twist but for us it was kind of like a is it time is it time did, like, did it feel like um, sort of the Litchfield game last season you mentioned like back at mm. the start that we I think we knew that day we'd still needed one more win I think from the last three matches knowing who we got to play knowing how far ahead of the league we were we realistically knew we'd won it did it feel a bit like that that yeah, I we think knew, so. We sort of knew. But... Northampton definitely. Sheffield, not so much, if I'm honest. Sheffield, Northampton was... clinched it, of course, and we had the celebrations afterwards. Yeah. Sheff I don't know. Sheffield, I was still a little bit like. You really like to think so. I remember I was talking to people at school who like follow along with it, and they said, like, oh, you've won it now, haven't you? And I was like, no. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, in my head, in the back of my head, I was like, surely. And my dad was obviously going around telling people we had, because that's my dad. But in my head, I was still like, I'm very much like a, it's not done till it's done. I can remember with my social media hat on being of the same, you know, do it professionally, we haven't won it yet. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I remember but just... it was difficult. <laughs> I'm always a it's not done until it's done kind of person. So, although, I mean, I might have had a couple of drinks to celebrate at the night of Sheffield, in my head I was still like, come on. So I just didn't want us to go to Northampton and for it to just be a repeat of the same thing. And obviously Northampton mm -hmm. are a really good side. Um, so it was going to be a tough game. Uh, regardless of how Donny were doing, I was still, I still didn't want us to end the season and just kind of fizzling out because we were like, oh, well, it's basically won. I didn't want it to get to the end of the season and we only won because of goal difference, because mm -hmm. Donny dropped points. Like, I wanted us to win because we deserved to win and we played the best, like, out of everyone in the league. I didn't want it to be a, oh, we've pretty much done it now, so let's just yeah. 
call it a day. I, I felt like the Northampton game was one of our most solid performances of the season. We really didn't give them many chances. We didn't probably create hundreds of chances mm. ourselves, but we created enough and managed to take a couple. Yeah. Um, and that's the sort of game probably that ends up winning your championships. Yeah. It just happened to be the one that got us did get us over the line. They're the kind of team that I feel like don't really give you lots of chances, which is mm. why they've done so well towards um like the second half of the season. Um but we knew who their players were and obviously there was a little bit of like drama as well because we wanted DZ to win golden boot and they <laughs> had a couple of players that yeah, were yeah. that were yeah. teetering so we were like if we stop them and we just need everyone else to stop those players as well. So that was also like a little bit a little bit more motivation, not that we needed it, but it was a little bit more just to kind of be like, keep them out, like don't let them. Um, and also they play a very similar way to how Wolves played. So we kind of knew that it was a little bit of a trial run in terms of we knew what was coming up playing against Wolves. So it was a good practice just to kind of get the formation and get people doing certain roles that we knew that we wanted them to do against Wolves. Um, so it was it was a very important game for lots of reasons. Yeah, yeah. Could, could you believe it that night? After no, <laughs> no. I still, I still don't think it's it will hit me until we start tier three. Mm. Until like we even pre season, I still feel like I'm in a headspace of like, oh yeah, it's pre season. Of course it is because the season's ended, so now it's pre season. But I still don't think it's hit me that it's pre season for tier three. I remember when we were celebrating in the circle, and um. Andy was like, we are tier three. <laughs> and me and Jess just looked at each other and were like, oh, God, we're tier three. Like, it was like the celebrations had suddenly stopped because we realised that it's actually something that we we have to do now. Um, it's, it's, it's remarkable, really, because I was only thinking this morning, thinking back, you always mention it, but the Derby game, that was only 18 months ago. And realistically, we were fresh out of tier six at that mm. point. And now, 18 months later, we're about to go into the, the third tier, the top 50 clubs. Yeah. That's, that's some achievement for any club. You know, blow our own trumpets, why, <laughs> why not? Nobody else is going to blow it for you. Does that, I, you know, you say start the next season when you look at the fixture list and you play the first game, is that, that is when it becomes reality? Yeah, def I think so. Um, watching Watford against Forest mm. the other day, I wanted Forest to win so we didn't have to play them. <laughs> um, but it is really good, you know, that's the football that we've wanted to be playing for yeah. for years. So now that we're actually there, I think it's interesting to see how we're going to get on, really. Obviously playing against Wolves the other day was a good indication of where yeah. we were at. To, to, was that enjoyable? I mean, obviously we, we lost the game and mm -hmm. you probably can't argue with the result on the night. No. And the I think we played really well, by the way. I think we kept it at bay quite a bit, you know. Just, just, just jumping in there, I think the goals that were scored were very unlucky to go 1 0 down, and you did work your backside off to like limit their chances. <clears throat> and obviously, um, yeah, I just think we did ourselves better against Wolves, and well, I guess we'll never know if that was Wolves' best uh, performance. I don't know, but we, we certainly did enough to walk away there, I think, and uh, should be really proud of ourselves. I think um, what I really appreciate <clears throat> is it's the first time that we've played Wolves that we've actually tried to attack which yeah. I know sounds like really silly but obviously before we've always tried to do a little bit of like damage limitation with the like we've always left someone there in case we can get that pass off which you know we have been successful with like we took them to penalties um, in the county cup a couple of years ago and then when we played them in the FA cup I want to yeah, say yeah. we had a we had a couple of chances so I'm not saying that it was ineffective but it's a nice um indication to show where how much we've progressed to the point where now actually we can go attack and we can play what's close to our regular football and i mean yeah we lost but they beat teams in their league by double that yeah yeah so yeah. obviously again you don't want to lose a cup but there are teams won that division last season and finished runners up only on, only on goal difference mm -hmm. this season mm -hmm. that's that's the measure of the challenge and you know although we've got to take them on in the league next season we've also got to take on teams that are not at their level mm -hmm. And that's the that's you know, we, we've talked about right at the start of this coming into this season saying our aim is to avoid relegation. Not necessarily saying that should be our sole aim next season, but realistically, we're not like we said twelve months ago. We're not going to go into that league <laughs> and challenge for promotion. So you know you, you're going to go into that league looking at building blocks mm -hmm. and starting to establish ourselves. Hopefully, get a foothold and all those things that that go together to make 
hopefully make sure that we manage to secure that place at tier three and then get a foothold into the following season and the following season and so on. Mm -hmm. Did you get any congratulations messages off any um, other clubs apart from like your stay with friends? Was there any players or clubs that contacted the club or contacted yourself or anyone that you know to say congratulations on your success? Um, a couple of, obviously at the Wolves game, a couple of the Wolves girls who I used to play with um, like congratulate me. Tash Tesgal, um, who I played with at Stoke, um, she messaged and congratulated me. I think Maka might have done from was obviously it's like people who I've known mm -hmm. kind of around a lot of people a couple of the Sutton girls a couple of the Kelsey girls and um, like people who I've played with uh who else I'm trying to think there was a there was a lot it was very I think it was very understood that that we kind of deserved it um when I went to watch Wolves against West Brom one of uh, Sky Owen, who mm. plays for Kelsa, her dad, I was talking to her dad and he was like, you know, you deserve it, like he was like, you're by far the best team in this league, he was like, you know, hopefully we'll go play Donny and we'll get a result for you and stuff, which is really nice, <laughs> um, but no, I don't think there was anyone who I almost expected to have a message from who I didn't, I don't think, um, I remember in when we played Wolves in our pre-season friendly at the start of the year, I was marking Jade Cross, who I've known for years, and she said, she went, I think, I think your team's going to do all right in this league, you know, I went, oh, do you think? She was like, yeah, yeah. No. I went, oh, I hope so, Jade. And then when I saw her at the county at county cup final, I said to her, I was like, I was like, Jade, I remember you said to me like, you think we'll do all right. She was like, yeah, and now here you are. I'll see you next year. And I was like, yeah, I'll see you then, mate. Like, brilliant. Chasing her up and down the wing. <laughs> yeah, oh, chasing her is probably doing her doing her an injustice. But no, there was there was a lot of um, a lot of congratulation messages. Yeah, we, we had a, we had a lot of good messages as a club. Yeah, generally, I think of, you know people respect what you do. I think um, they have to. At the end of the season, the league table doesn't lie. We won last season by ten points, and this season by twelve. And that's it's down to hard work, isn't it? It's down to the efforts that everybody puts in. The tennis um, level has been fantastic as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, we talked about the odd point here and there. We've talked about the late equaliser at, at Solly Hall. We've talked about the point we dropped at Lincoln. But at the end of the day, those results could have gone the other way and it wouldn't have made any difference, you know, uh, because we were that, that far clear. And I don't think the league table lies. So we're going to wrap it up then. Um, what's your plans for the next month? I know you've got a, a few weeks off from um, pre-season at least. Mm -hmm. um, are you going to be doing things uh, as hard to keep yourself fit or could it just completely just have a couple of three weeks off? Oh, no. To, <laughs> no. No, I don't think... Since we won the league, I don't think I've stopped going to the gym. Well, okay. Andy said to me, he was like, uh, we were still training. We'd won the league on the Sunday and then we had like a little friendly thing. And I put myself in goal and he was like, are you okay? So I went, yeah, I just went to the gym. And he was like, I know. <laughs> he was like, yeah, I haven't stopped since we've won the league. Have a break. I was like, no, I can't. But I know a couple of the girls are kind of taking this week as a little, well, last week, yeah. as a congratulations, chill. And yeah. then as far as I'm aware, most people I know are kind of hitting the ground running now. Um, right. obviously we got a presentation on Saturday and then yeah I think a lot of the girls are missing it so get started on pre-season yeah excellent <laughs> thank you very much for joining us I think it's great to start that conversation just to wrap up the season I'm really looking forward to the awards night um, as well can't wait to see uh, everyone get the trophy and get the recognition that is within the club and I know that they've got that anyway they don't need a little trophy but it is nice just to wrap up the season isn't it so I can't wait to be there as well. And yes, have a fantastic summer. We'll, we'll see you in pre-season, no doubt. And uh, we'll keep it today on social media, Rich. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, fantastic. Have a great evening. Have a great uh, time off work with your summer holidays. And uh, yeah, we'll see you for pre-season. Definitely. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Man.